This is not what you think. It is not cannabis. It is one of the most nutrient dense plants you can eat. And it just so happens to be illegal and or you need a license in a lot of places in the world. But you can actually grow it just like this. These are hemp microgreens or hemp greens, and they have five times the amount of protein that lettuce has. Hemp microgreens are loaded with zinc, iron, potassium, magnesium, and tons of polyphenol and antioxidants that make them an absolute powerhouse in nutrition. Now, these aren't the most tasty microgreens to eat, but because of the nutritional content, they're definitely worth it to consume in juices or in salads because they don't have a super strong flavor. They kind of have a slight, like you can almost taste the, the polyphenols and uh, cannabinoids in it, but it's not psychoactive at all because it's hemp, not cannabis. Um, and it kind of has a very mild green flavor, very slight bitterness, not overly bitter. So they would be great for a juice, a smoothie, uh, or even as a salad if you just have a little bit of dressing on them. So hemp microgreens are actually quite easy to grow. These guys behind me are 13 days old and they're quite large. I didn't get the best germination rate on them, so that's why uh, I, I grew them a bit larger than I normally would. If you want them to be the most tender, you'd want to seed about 80 grams of seed per tray, and then you can grow them probably for about 10 days to get a size that is edible. Uh, but these guys were grown for 13 days under ideal conditions using my super soul recipe and you can get our complete growing guide including a super soul recipe on our website for free at microgreensconsulting.com it gives you the links for everything you need to buy to start growing microgreens at home and consuming superfoods in the middle of the winter when it's freezing cold out and you can't grow anything else and you can't really buy a lot at a farmer's market this time of year so it's great to be able to grow salad greens indoors in the winter months and that free growing guide gives you everything you need to get started and grow at home for free so you may be asking, why are these illegal to grow or why do you need a license to grow hemp microgreens if they're not psychoactive? And the reason is, uh, from my understanding, is that at least in Canada, they kind of lumped in hemp and cannabis at the same time when they made the laws to legalize cannabis. So to be in Canada and want to grow hemp for commercial sale, you have to have a license that costs about $2,000. So I'm just growing these for fun. I'm not trying to sell these or anything. I'm just doing an educational video because I think that hemp should be a legal crop to grow for anyone, whether you're a home gardener or a commercial grower, because there's so many health benefits and the fiber is a great material to use for um, growing, growing more microgreens as a hemp mat. Um, it's a great material uh, for fiber to, to make all sorts of different clothing, things like that. And most importantly, they are a superfood in terms of the seed and the greens. So they should be easily accessible in Canada, the US and across the world, but right now they're not. So that's one of the reasons I'm actually making this video is to help educate people and understand why this is illegal and help to move the industry forward by making it not illegal to grow these type of crops or not need a license depending on where you are because they are an absolute powerhouse in nutrition. And I also think from a business perspective, these guys would be an absolute gem in, in health food stores because people know of the health benefits. People know about CBD, people know about the anxiety and other sort of uh, medical uses for cannabis. Um, but the greens themselves, without any psychoactive properties, have a ton of nutrition and people should be able to consume these freely and not have to rely on uh, licenses and expensive things that most people can't afford to grow them at home.